Hello everybody, welcome to another video. Welcome to another GTA 5, actually GTA 4 tutorial. Okay, in this tutorial we'll have to look at working with the logo axis, all these little markers, we gotta fix them up. When you bring your car in from another 3D program, it could be in the wrong place and that leads to a lot of issue like your car will shake when you drive and it won't be stable it won't be it won't be very smooth so what we need to do is fix all the axes some of the axes are not in the middle and also we'll have a look at fixing the axes for the the bonnet doors and the boot so when you rotate it it turns at the right point so uh, we need it there, so that's, that. um, you painted your car, you export your car into the game now, uh, you, you can see your car now, but when you drive, it won't be that stable, it could be, it would be, um, it might shake a lot, so we're gonna fix that issue right now. Okay, just go in, hide everything, and tick the, the main parent and what you need to do is go to local axis go to display local axis open this um, tick keep object in so it stays in the right place orientation is to fix the rotation of the axis offset means to move or offset the the axis to to where where we like to put it Okay, so the main parent, we need to reset that to world, it needs to be in the center. So just click on that and make sure turn, um, turn on whole mesh selection. And just put your cursor on top of that, click on that and it will move into the center of the world which is what we want. Now we're going to do it to the chassis. The chassis has a dummy. So the chassis, chassis is a dummy and it's right there. So we, to show it, we can right click show isolate and that will show the part or right click to show the rest. This one's already in the center so we don't have to do too much. But let's have a look at the chassis. The chassis, the axis is outside, it's in the wrong place. What you need to do is check the orientation first switch to reset to the parent these axes need to correspond with the parent uh, the parent um, dummy so just go ahead highlight your object click to rotate the axis and also offset as well we need to offset that to the center right there so it moved there and we do the same for the other level reset to the center reset the orientation and for the collision it's different for the collision we're going to reset to the center and switch to offset and click that so it's in the in the middle um, this is very important I think so make sure for the dummy the axis is in the middle and that could um, could save you a lot of headache because yeah, I've been testing the car out and it's been taking a couple days to do that but um, I figured out how to fix that. Okay, let's have a look at the bonnet. Okay, for the bonnet, the dummy is the green mark. This green mark just indicates where it rotates, the center of rotation. So we need to move this to the... the... Um, the the beginning of the bonnet so just go move make sure quad selection is on and try drag that try turn on selection mode modify move highlight Turn selection mode off. Sometimes you need a selection mode off, and drag it to the end. 
okay just drag it there and now we reset the axis so orientation reset to parent highlight it switch to offset and make sure the axis moves there do that again for the level 2 I mean level 1 and for the collision we want to offset to center of the collision model so it needs to be there and that's good as well now we do to do this to the boot so this is what you need to do just go ahead and fix all these local axes so we're gonna move this to the top okay modify move selection quad highlight the object and drag make sure um, the right direction is selected and just check make sure that's in the center yep it seems fine now we just fix the axis now click this, this box to bring these out reset to parent so reset the orientation and reset the position but yep that's it so just go ahead and do that to nearly all of your parts do that to your bumper for the collision reset to the center do that to both of your bumpers your doors do that for the windscreen for the li the lights as well the brake lights there's no actual object so you don't need to do that do that for the headlight for all the seats um, skip them the seats you can move the dummy if you like for the seat so you want to move where the player sits so if your player's head is a bit higher than you what you want you need to move them so just go to modify move in select make sure you select by name and select the seats select all the seats make sure selection mode is on and here you can move the seat so move the four seat where you like if you have trouble selecting you need to just zoom in closer make sure you select the right one so if your car is lower just move the seat down and when the player sits his head will be in the car so that's the the seats are the position of all your passengers for the wheel reset the the axis for the mesh but leave the dummies alone and for the body just do that for the body as well and for the chassis make sure you reset to the center for dummies so go local axis go display local axis open the box and reset to parent actually center to object and that's already in there but yep that will help you fix a lot of the mechanism for your car and that's how you fix the issue of your car shaking in the game so and you're nearly there so we fix most of the things we we can start up um, exporting this car into the game and it should work fine I'll just go over one more thing that I'll show you how to UV map so if you have a graphic I'll show you how to map it on the car so if you want to put graphics or decoration on the car and and after that we should be done we should be uh, it should be the whole complete tutorial of how you um, modify your own car for the game GTA 5 that's it for today everybody see you later everyone uh, make sure you subscribe and um, give me uh, tell me what you think of the video give me some feedback that will be great